Uh, well, try to view it clearly, Phil. Grimble's been here for just over two years. He's acted like a whirlwind in that time with his ideas of progress and leadership. But in the end, slogans and pep talks just aren't enough. They work all right at first, but in the end, you have to face the day-to-day -day mental sweat to make sure they're carried out. And that's what you've been doing for him. Yes, that's what I've been doing. And this letter from him, Julia, is the last straw. How do you mean? Well, it confirms what I've been feeling these last few weeks. He wants me to tidy everything up, and when it's nice and orderly, he can jump into the ring again with his bright ideas on efficiency in society. Only I think the next time he won't quite succeed. Why do you say that? Well, I've thought for a long time that this squire's lady and patron of the village stuff's doomed before it starts. Oh? Well, he isn't really a popular man, you know. There are plenty of people who are rather upset about the marriage. Yes, what is this feeling people have towards him? Yes, now that really is interesting. There's something unique and independent about an English village, you know, Jill. It's been made by century after century of the same families living together, finding their own way of life, only adopting ideas from outside when they were useful to them, and even then twisting and polishing them till they fitted into their own pattern. Do you see my point? Not quite. Still, go on. What I mean is, a village, any village, that's been through so many centuries of trial and error, must have the ability to deal with fresh situations and absorb them, without having to have an outsider step in, who is forever jollying us up from the top. You mean Grenville's not necessary to this village? Well, well, in the great scheme of things, no. But has he ever been? Well, how do you mean? I mean, it's as you said. Ever since he's been here, you've adapted his ideas and run things for him. I mean, you're the real leader of the village, taking things from outside and bending them to our way of life. Yes, you know, Jill, I never thought of it exactly like that. It's the old village cunning in a new form. <laughs> That's a thought, isn't it? You know something? What? I have a feeling that the archers are going to survive around here a great deal longer than the Grenvilles. Hmm. I shouldn't be surprised at that, Jill. <laughs> After all, we've got a rather unfair advantage, haven't we? What's that? Well, a few hundred years start, that's all. <laughs> Here, this water's getting a bit chilly now. Give me a towel, that's enough. Right.